Now for part C then, this is a problem on conditional probability which generally appears at the end of most um, questions. So uh, you can always be prepared for questions like this. Let's just run through it again. We're told that a doctor randomly selects a person from the population and tests him for the disease. Given that the test is positive, we've got to find the probability that he does not have the disease. So I'd want to write this in symbolic language first of all. So we're told that we've got to work out the probability that someone doesn't have the disease given that the test was positive. And you'll see this result is not listed down here. So how do we do something like this on conditional probability? Well, you should know this standard result that you'll find in most formula books. The probability of something, let's call it event A, given that something else has happened, say B, is equal to the probability that both events happen, A and B, divided by the probability of the given event, which in this case is B. So, as I say, this is a result that you should be familiar with. And I would encourage you to learn it. And uh, if you want further breakdown on this, I've done some tutorials on proving this result and using it. So just go on my website, look under conditional probability in the index or on your module and you'll find those tutorials. So returning back to the problem then, probability of not having the disease given positive. Well according to this rule then it's the probability that both events happen. So that is not having the disease and the test is positive. And then it's divided by the given event. In this case the probability of testing positive. Now you can see, I hope, why I've used symbolic language here and took the time to write this up here for you. Because we can see now that the probability of not having the disease and testing positive, this result here, was not having the disease and testing positive was 0.98 times 0.03. Okay, let's just write that in, 0.98 multiplied then by 0.03. Then we've got to divide it by the probability of testing positive. We'll just draw that line there. And we've got it here, probability of testing positive. We kept the notation correct. Turns out to be that result there, 0.0484. And if you work that out, what you're going to find that you get is an exact fraction, which is 147 over 242. You can leave it like that. Or if you work it out as a decimal and round it to, say, to three decimal places, you'll get 0 0.607 to three decimal places, 3dp. Okay, 